When throwing a punch, the rotational and linear movement energy from our body is transferred to the target through the hand. However, according to Newton's third law, an equal and opposite reaction force is also applied to our fist during this transfer. Therefore, the correct positioning of the hand during a punch is crucial to ensure both effective force transmission and the protection of the hand from injury. To safely transfer energy, the punch should be delivered using the strongest bones in the hand, the metacarpal bones. These bones, with their long and cylindrical structure, help reduce the pressure created by the force. Pressure equals force divided by area. Additionally, the strong joint structures at both ends of the metacarpal bones allow for the force to be both evenly distributed and effectively transmitted. Moreover, keeping the wrist straight prevents the concentration of force caused by the reaction force. From a physical perspective, when force is applied to a straight object, it is evenly distributed across the surface and stress is uniformly dispersed. In a misaligned position, however, the force becomes concentrated at a specific point, increasing the risk of fracture. Therefore, aligning the wrist in a straight line during a punch, from the fingers to the wrist and the wrist to the forearm, ensures the force is evenly spread over a larger area, minimizing the pressure caused by the reaction force and reducing the risk of injury. The position of the thumb also plays a critical role when throwing a punch. Energy is transmitted from the elbow to the metacarpal bones of the hand and the front of the fist. An incorrect thumb position can lead to inefficient energy transfer and potential damage to the finger joints. In the correct position, the thumb is folded towards the palm and placed in front of the index and middle fingers. This protects the thumb from external impacts and increases the stability of the fist, helping to direct the force more effectively and accurately to the target.